Have you ever looked down on your Android phone and thought, dang, I wish I could really make this experience my own? Well, if you have, you've come to the right place. I'm Timo from Time Flies Tech, and today I'll be showing you how to download and install a custom launcher. First of all, you might ask, what is a custom launcher, and why would I want one? Well, the answer is simple. A launcher is the screen you use to launch Android apps. For example, this is the current launcher that comes default with the Nexus 5, the Google Search launcher. However, you can change this launcher by downloading apps from the Play Store. Here I have Nova Launcher. As you can see, it's taken me to a completely different app launching screen, which I can now customize with my own widgets and scroll effects. Pretty neat, huh? Additionally, custom launchers let you change things like the scroll animation, the app launching animation, as well as the cosmetic look and often the icons that you can use. Now you might be wondering, why would I even want to change my Android home screen launcher? I mean, mine's fine as it is, isn't it? Well, the answer to that is, if you want the maximum customizability and tweakability and you really want to make it look special, then you're going to need a custom launcher to do it. If you've seen my top 5 Android launchers of 2014 video, you'll know that launchers come in all shapes and sizes and let you do a ton of cool stuff with your phone. So here we are in the Google Play Store. I will now show you how to download and install a custom launcher. So once you're in the Play Store, you click on the search button and you type in the name of the launcher you want to download. For this demonstration I'll be using Nova Launcher. So you click on the result and you click on the app. You click install and you accept the permissions and it will now download the app for you. Okay, the app is downloaded. You now have two options to make this new launcher your default launcher. First, and the easiest way, is to simply press your home button, which will trigger this splash screen of selecting your default home app. You select the new launcher and click Always. Thus, your new launcher, which is actually just an app, opens up and you can start customizing it straight away, and every time you press the home button, you'll be brought back to this exact launcher. The other way of getting to your launcher is pretty easy, but it's harder to set as your default launcher. This can be a good option if you just want to explore the launcher for a bit, but not commit to making it the screen that initially appears every time you press the home button. In order to do this, either just press open, which will open the app, or you can slide to where your app icon has appeared, which could be here or in the app drawer, and you click on it, and the launcher will open itself. This way, if you ever press home, you'll be brought back to your default launcher, which should be the one you have originally installed. Well everybody, that's it from me for today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to download and install an Android home screen launcher and I hope you stay customizing your devices for many weeks to come. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, and check out the link in the description below for a link to our giveaway. We'll be giving away Google Play gift credit, so once we reach a thousand subscribers, we'll let you know more about that. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and don't stop customizing.